హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎస్కే బిషాట్స్ అండ్ నాతో పాటు ఉన్నారు ఫార్మర్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ క్రికెటర్ అండ్ ఇప్పుడు మ్యాన్ విత్ మెనీ హ్యాట్స్ మెనీ రోల్స్లో ఉన్న హేమంత్ బదానీ గారు మనతో ఉన్నారు ఆయనతో మాట్లాడదాం సో థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ డూయింగ్ దిస్ విత్ మీ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ యువర్ క్రికెటింగ్ కెరియర్ నా యూ సీమ్ టు డాన్ మెనీ హ్యాట్స్ యాజ్ అ కామెంటేటర్ అండ్ దెన్ ఇస్ కోచింగ్ స్టాఫ్ యూర్ ట్రావెలింగ్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ద వరల్డ్ విత్ రిస్పెక్ట్ టు ది టీ ట్వంటీ ఫ్రాంచైజ్ క్రికెట్ దట్స్ కమింగ్ అప్ సో హౌ డూ యూ లుక్ అట్ దిస్ ఫ్రాంచైజీ క్రికెట్ కమింగ్ ఇన్ టు పిక్చర్ వేర్ ఎవ్రీ నేషన్ వాన్స్ టు హ్యావ్ ఎ లీగ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్స్ ఓన్ well i think uh, it's pretty much going to be the future because uh, franchise cricket is here to stay uh, i am old school with regards to playing sport and playing cricket for your uh, country has to be of prime importance mm. but uh, the way things are going franchise cricket is and will take precedence uh, going forward now you know there is a lot of pressure on the coaching staff also for example if a team doesn't do well with the kind of social media and the kind of brand building that is happening you also seem to be coming in the firing zone do you think that is uh, affecting the way that people are looking at the game i think with any high profile job uh, there will be accountability there will be people asking you questions if you look into a corporate household if you're a ceo of a company or a ceo cfo of a company uh you have to deliver and if you don't deliver you perish and that's pretty much the same with uh, the way franchise cricket works as long as you do well as long as you uh, as long as the company and the franchise recognizes that you've actually done the right thing but it's the players who haven't done well uh, then you have uh, a chance to have a slightly extended contract right. or everything boils down to performance everything boils down to your side either qualifying or winning or uh, unfortunately you are uh, uh, given the door or asked to exit i know but, but that's that's pretty much how it's going to be and that's pretty much how it should be is what i think because uh, as long as you perform you survive and uh, you have to perform to survive right now again you know with uh, people actually tagging you on twitter or asking you questions where you score low score or take this player and all of that so how do you look at this you know there's a lot of involvement from uh, the public compared to what it was let us say some 5 to 7 years ago no i appreciate that because it tells you that uh, the common man is involved the common man loves the sport uh, without the common man there is no sport without the fan following there is no sport if there are if, uh, if the millions are not following a uh, virat kohli or a dhoni or a, or these millions are not turning up to watch a cricket match uh, and filling the stadiums or putting on the television then we will not have the kind of uh, following uh, cricket will not generate the same amount of interest cricket will not generate the same amount of revenue so it's all down to uh, the common man showing interest and i i recognize that and i appreciate that but as a, a person who's involved with uh, selecting and scouting you have to filter it uh, and see uh which kid has the potential which kid uh, can do well uh and it's a it's a long drawn process because as you mentioned earlier the amount of videos that we end up getting uh just on my social media from people whom i don't know nice. people who just follow me and people who love cricket so you don't ignore it but uh, to go through each video because you never know you might find somebody somewhere and uh, we've seen over many years that you end up finding a superstar just around the corner but you haven't seen him and uh, it's up to us to keep our eyes open yeah that is another challenging job of yours because uh, it also puts in a lot of academic probably if i use the word emphasis or stress on looking at people because uh, you know the kind of videos you get the kind of video analysis that is happening the kind of scouting that is going on so there is a lot of risk ko pakadna usko lena and there's a lot of academic insights to watch a person bat or bowl yeah there is because see first and foremost you have to also understand as a side uh, what is your side's requirement uh, do we need a batsman do we need a bowler uh, even in that do we need a left arm spinner right arm spinner medium pacer uh, do we need an indian fast bowler or or if it's a batsman do we need a right hander a left hander a ball striker do we need somebody at the top do we need somebody to finish the innings for us so you first have to identify as a side what is the requirement of your team uh, and you go on about picking a player and looking at players after that but the challenge does not end there you always have to keep an eye out of players or, or rather four players uh, who are good because there's every chance of someone else as some other franchisee having a look at them and 
uh, there is a chance that they get picked by the other franchisee and you don't have him in your side because you didn't need him at that point in time but you will encounter a good quality player in the future in the opposition right. so sometimes you also have to think that do i just take this player even though i don't need him right now right. but i want to deny this to someone else to the other franchisee and at the same time maybe in a year or two there will be a vacancy for him and then i can make use of him so that's again an investment probably expecting a return well you have to do that i mean and i and it's something which uh, a lot of us at yeah, scouting absolutely. try and do that try and see okay we have enough batters but this person also is an excellent batsman we may not be able to play him right away but uh, yes. come next year or the season after that uh, he, when he matures and he's ready uh, he's probably an investment worth making right now and now if you look at india there are a lot of uh, the domestic t20 leagues that have come up for example you know <coughs> tnpl started the way and then uh, maharaja shere punjab now we have saurashtra you're also having the andhra premier league right now so how does this influence or impact the lives of cricketers and what opportunities does these kind of leagues open up for them which is not there per se in an smat or a vht or ranji trophy uh, the good bit about this is that uh, now every uh, franchise is more than happy to send out scouts Uh, and they don't necessarily only send them for the Syed Mushtaq Ali or the Vijay Hazare. Uh, even yesterday uh, at the APL, I saw three uh, three guys uh, who've come in as scouts. I'm, obviously, I can't name them, but uh, there were three of them taking notes, three of them exchanging notes. Uh, one of them uh, from uh, one of them known very well to me uh, was trying to pick my brains. I said I'm not going to speak about what I've made notes. so that's how far things have gone and uh, it's it's a great platform for uh, young kids to showcase their talent and they end up being visible very soon Correct. Correct. so the earlier days when we used to play visibility let's say for us to be visible to the north of india or somebody in jammu and kashmir was very minimal and i'll give you the reason why let's say there was somebody uh, playing well in jammu and kashmir the score cards in tamil nadu obviously there was no social media there was no uh, yeah. internet so the scores used to be in the newspaper in the newspaper uh, of my origin let's say i am from chennai the, the tamil nadu newspaper the chennai newspaper will carry a little score card right. of the jammu and kashmir match versus the side that they've played and you would just probably see a kid who's got over 25 runs his name is mentioned over there anything below that is not even mentioned it's not like a full score card so you never really see someone's scores or their potential just by that score card but now with broadcasting with the, almost all these leagues are on television or are they are uh, or they are available on uh, apps you can just at a click of a button okay. record the games see them later and at times you don't necessarily see potential in a player just because he's got runs right, right, right. potential isn't equivalent to run scoring potential is somebody who could end up being a future player right. you can see the player by the ability and the skill set of a player he may not be scoring runs yet but you can still see what he has and what he can give you in the future all of that is possible today because of tv because of visibility because of social media Uh, because of what you mentioned earlier yeah. people are sending out videos there are kids who make their own videos right. on youtube yeah. and share then they share it across so all of that uh, makes it easier for us yes it's a lot of work but it makes it easier for us and also at the same time uh, the chances of a player going on to play higher is quicker right and now sir if you if you look at the amount of cricket that is happening there is always a complaint that too much of cricket is happening too much of cricket is happening how much is too much is never known but uh, from your point of view what is too much i don't necessarily think there's anything called too much cricket uh, it's up to you to turn up to play or not it's a choice that you're making and if you feel that you've uh, reached a point where it's uh, getting too much to you uh, or you've injured or you are likely to get injured you can always take a break right. you can always pause but uh, this is how cricket's going to be going forward i don't complain or i don't see players complaining about too much of franchise cricket right. why is it that why is it that they are comfortable playing franchise right. cricket but then when it comes down to playing for their own state or their own uh, uh, country right. is when this too much uh, statement comes into the picture 
so you can't be picking and choosing as and when you feel like cricket is played if you genuinely feel that you've uh, had too much of it take a break take a pause right right and now sir again uh, with respect to formats there is a debate that one of the formats is getting endangered a sandwiching uh, kind of a thing is happening with respect to one day cricket do you agree with that because tests have a different uh, i mean a viewership and all that eliteness of the game and t20 is the game that is actually taking the sport to different countries i think uh, unfortunately odi will have a slow death i don't see it uh, relevant going forward yes we have the odi world cup coming up but i just get a feeling maybe in about 10 years time odi might be extinct we may not even have odis or it might just be a format where because of it uh, being a part of history right, right. and the countries and the uh, uh, the world cricket has been playing it might just go on but the love that odi was shown by the world earlier will not be seen going forward so do you think the bilaterals will come down i i mean it's come down to a point where people are not even watching the bilateral if you look at the i mean if you ask the broadcaster about the trps of a bilateral versus a asia cup or a world cup uh, the numbers are skewed uh, the numbers are badly skewed not even skewed the badly skewed right. and now uh, with the kind of uh, players that are coming up it, it also puts the onus on the selectors also franchise cricket you see a lot of talent coming into picture and then there is a lot of hope about that a particular player that he can he can play for india and all of that so how does that transition and what is the role of the you know uh, the selectors or the people who have already played the coaches etc to mold that kind of a player from a franchise cricket and if at all he has got the potential to play the international cricket i think the job of the indian selectors and the indian uh, support staff is not necessarily to uh, look at players of x franchise or y franchise i'm not even suggesting that they're doing that you're only looking at cricket objectively you're looking at players objectively and if you do find uh, someone uh, of uh, good skill and ability from a certain team it's your job and your duty to nurture him to try and get him into programs into academies maybe get him to the nca uh, if he's good enough to play uh, india a make him play the india a tours make him play an emerging tour give him opportunities and try and enhance his uh, skill set and mindset and uh, that's pretty much the reason why they are there and that's the reason why we have the nca so anybody with skill and ability has to be nurtured and now they talk about multi dimensional players because that has been the case with indian cricket where they say the batters don't bowl bowlers don't bat but in franchise cricket we we look at people who can offer you both dimensions so is there a particular emphasis that is going to happen or are we just missing out on something uh, why are we not able to get multi dimensional players into the squad in indian cricket well that's some that's a question uh, which i genuinely don't have an answer to but it's it's something that uh, is actually hampering our cricket now if you go back in time and uh, look at the era when we played right. i could bowl yeah. yuvraj singh could bowl sheva could bowl saurav could bowl sachin could bowl uh, dinesh mongia yeah. could bowl so there were a uh, quite a few batters who could bowl and, and we don't necessarily have to bowl 10 10 overs Absolutely. but even if two guys can chip in and give you 10 overs or two guys can chip in and give you eight overs your job is done and you and you look at the indian team right now surya can't bowl virat can't bowl rohit can't bowl uh tilak can just about roll his arm over uh who am i missing i think the only person who can bowl is hardik kl does not bowl i think hardik is the only guy who bowls for us in the middle overs or who's a batter who can bowl let me put it that way that is an issue for india that's where i think india has a big hole we aren't ending up having the right balance uh, compared to what we had earlier right. they still good players they yeah. still good players with their skill set right. and they're all single skilled player right. in the era that we played we were multi skilled players which uh, makes a massive difference uh, i it, it all goes back to every state association uh, looking at players uh, who are multi skilled who can who can bat and bowl but you can't overnight india can't overnight produce multi skill players right. it's what the player has played uh, from the under 15s and under right. 16s right. or even under 12s it's up to the state to try and uh, nurture talent and uh, multi skill players and then that player gets groomed 
moves up the ladder goes to the under 15s goes to under 19s and then he plays a ranji trophy uh, then he ends up playing the ipl and then he ends up playing for india and he is somebody who is also bold all through his career right, right. but you can't expect someone to just straight away up. turn up and no, bowl for good. india that's not going to happen right. and you travel a lot because of your work assignments you know beat commentary and now you are uh, with srh and you will also be going to south africa for the csa 20 how do you manage things i love the sport so i it doesn't really bother me i've just learned to live uh, out of a suitcase i just know how to pack <laughs> packing for me is 20 minutes uh, i have a list on my phone <laughs> itself of what i have to carry and what i don't have to carry uh, what what do i carry for domestic travel what do i carry for international, international travel. travel so it's all there and most times a suitcase has my basic things ready i just need to try and put in the extra bit but in all fairness uh, grateful with the work that i get and grateful that i'm still a part of uh, cricket uh, i've always been a cricket fan and then a cricket lover and then a cricket player rather right. and uh, the journey still goes on so pretty pleased with it right. and the world cup is coming in and uh, after 12 years india is hosting the world cup so you are top 4 if i may ask um, in all honesty i haven't given that much of a thought but obviously india will be one pakistan is a massive contender uh, you can never keep uh, australia out of the world cup and uh, the way england plays odi cricket right. is uh, is fabulous so i would imagine these are my top four right thank you so much for doing this sir and i would like to request you to tell a telugu dialogue because you are well versed with the language i know that but i'll say the dialogue if you can repeat it it'll be great for our uh, fans and subscribers let's try all right so it is it is a, it's a simple dialogue it's of allu arjun and you just need to say pushpa gadi rule and then do tagge dele pushpa gadi rule pushpa gadi rule and then you have to say tagge dele okay. okay so let's do it so ready sir there you go pushpa gadi rule tagge dele thank you so much for doing this sir thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much